Greetings, friends. My name is Francesco Camelli. I'm a GUE instructor based in Los Angeles, California. And today I'd like to talk to you about how to attach a backplate and wing system to a single tank. What you will find is that all backplate and wing systems, or most backplate and wing systems, have one thing in common, and that's this piece of equipment here, which is called the STA, or single tank adapter, um, which comes with two screws that are spaced to fit the standard spacing of holes on pretty much every backplate and wing. Uh, which means you can also attach pretty much any STA to any backplate uh, as this distance is standardized throughout the industry. So this is my Halcyon STA. Um, it has a six pound weight uh, that I can remove that's built into it. Uh, and that's nice because it puts the weight itself near my center of mass. Uh, and makes it easier for me to, to trim out and, uh, and swim around really comfortably. So the question I often get asked is, well, that's great, but there's no guide as to where this should be on the actual uh, cylinder itself. So where is a good place to start? Well, for me, a good place to start is so that the top of the STA itself is in line with the shoulder of the tank. So where the tank stops rotating and becomes a flat wall is where I'm going to start by placing my STA when I put my rig onto a single tank. Uh, I'm also going to rotate it slightly towards the valve um, and what that does is it actually brings the valve a little closer to the back of my head so if I need to reach up and touch the valve it's a little closer and I don't have to reach quite as far back for it. And then I simply tighten my cam straps And we're ready to go. Obviously, the back plate and wing would be on here as well. Then I would connect to my first stage, do all my functionality checks, and, and go dive. Now, the good thing about this, as a starting point anyway, is that, as you can see, most of the mass of my tank is below. And when I'm trimmed out, it's actually back, which is going to allow me to lean forwards into a nice, relaxed, trimmed out position. And I've spoken about it a little bit in terms of back plate um, position on your back before. The more weight you can get back, the more you can lean into your trim and the more easily you can find this nice neutral uh, trimmed out position without having to fight it. Now of course if you want to get into trim and buoyancy and balance discussions then maybe seek out uh, a local GUE instructor and take a fundamentals class. All of this is going to be explained and gone into in far greater detail than this. To recap, when attaching a single tank to a backplate and wing, start by having the STA in line with where the shoulder becomes the wall of your tank, and then adjust from there. If you want to get more into sort of trim, balance, buoyancy, uh, I recommend maybe seeking out your local GUE instructor and taking a fundamentals class, where all of this will be discussed at great length, where your backplate will be fitted to you, uh, and where, if you're in a single tank, we will position everything exactly as it, as it needs to be uh, to enable you to swim as effortlessly as possible through the water as you, as you go about your dives. If you like these tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel or subscribe to GUE TV, where there are lots of videos, tips, tricks, films about diving, mini documentaries, etc. Uh, thank you for your time. I hope it was helpful and I hope to see you in the water soon.